All right, in order to do this soft flush on the transmission, uh, luckily I don't have the air box in the car anymore. This is gonna be probably another video, just as kind of like a, a goof, because I've never seen one of these Volvos with a cone filter on one of the V8s. I had uh, cheaply threw one together here, custom. So anyway, that's I'll probably do a video on that at some point in time. But you can see down here, there's a line someone put with a marker. That's a T55 is what you'll need to undo the fill plug of the so-called uh, sealed transmission. And I would purchased 12, actually 13 quarts, just to be safe, of the Type 4 ATF fluid from Toyota. I got them for, I think it was $36 per case from Amazon free shipping. Uh, from what I understand, since this is a Japanese transmission, the Toyota fluid is just, it's a lot, it's a lot cheaper than the Volvo fluid and it's pretty much the same stuff. And uh, you can use other brands as well. Uh, to get started on this, we're gonna have to take off, I think it's T30, a whole bunch of little bolts on the bottom underneath the car to get that pan off. Car, so pretty much, this is not gonna be a tutorial by any means because Volvo is sweet and that guy on YouTube has an awesome video on how to do this. I did mark out some containers a while just like he suggested. So I marked marked out some uh, containers. I really should have a third container and I, sh I do have one here somewhere but we'll get started with we'll just see how we make out here with it. I'm doing a time lapse on one of the new cameras just to see how that's working. As we can see, there's the drain plug. If I can get my finger, where's the, right here. If I can get the camera on it, I can't even find it. But anyway, it's here, and the middle one is the actual, how you do the fill of it. It's like a tube that sticks up. Like I said, Volvo Sweden is the channel name. He has a lot better, they're probably one of the best videos on how to do this. Um, the outer, plug here. I forget what size that is. I'm going to have to find out. Um, I definitely got an oil leak though. Under I think I knew that going into my bolt this that had a valve cover leak issue. That's how I was able to get some money knocked off of this. Quite interesting how the exhaust wraps around down the front. This is a Yamaha V8. We have, that's the fuel filter housing there and it takes cartridges so the one manifold comes down and then goes back to twin manifolds or you know heads back to the two callus yeah we definitely I definitely got an oil leak there on this side somewhere gonna have to get that fixed all right it appears to be a t40 size bit you'll need to undo that drain plug if you really want to follow along with this. I'm sure there's not too many of you out there really want to do this. It's not really going to be a fun job. That's probably going to stop coming out of there. Oops. That's the problem with working with. I got a point. I can't really see with this camera. I hate this camera. can't see what I'm doing. Certainly don't want to get burned. Hey, that was pretty hot. Yep. Should have had gloves on. Eh. Wow, that is some black ass fluid. Holy cow. I don't think this has ever been done on this car, that's for sure, huh? Wow. That should be more of a red color. That is horrendously, horrendously dirty. Actually even smells a little burnt, which is not a good thing. 
uh, was two executives who had to, oh, it's farting, that's lovely. Two executives that had this car before, and I doubt they were doing hole shots or anything with it. The first owner was the owner of the Volvo dealership. I doubt either one of them was abusing it or anything, but this has 120, now 124,000 miles on it. This should have been done at probably every 40,000 miles. I would say this was probably never done. So what we're doing, we're gonna figure out how much came out of there, and we'll put that amount back in, run it through the gears in idle mode, and do it several times. I don't like the look of this oil back here. I'm not going to wait all day for that to drain. All right, upon dumping out that first extraction of fluid, it looks like it's only one and a half quarts. I had marked out using just plain water on this uh, milk jug and then transferred the markings to the other milk jug. I am shocked at how dirty this fluid is. Absolutely horrendously. It, it's, it's terrible. I guess it's not really much of a burnt smell, which is a good thing. You don't... You definitely don't want to have a burnt smell. That is not good. That's what happened in my last Volvo, that 1998 XC that you guys probably saw. Lame duck in the back of the driveway there. Uh, the transmission shot on that. All right, so next what we're going to do is go down here to that plug down here. If I can get the leg out of the way of the camera. We want to get that, you know, I should have done is actually I should have opened that up and try to get a little more to come out to vent that. That was dumb. I forgot all about doing that. Well, here goes nothing. Here's with the breaker bar. I don't know why in the world this is that tight. This is absolutely nuts. That should not, I don't think you'd have to have that that tight. Holy cow! I'm not that weak of a person either, but this is... I mean, I'm not super strong either, but this is crazy tight. I really don't want to have to put a big piece of pipe on it to get that off. That's insane. I didn't want to use an impact going on it, but I might have to. And this doesn't have that much torque, but... There it comes. See, that's getting all ridiculous. Oh, there's an O-ring on this one. Yeah, okay. O-ring on that, on the fill plug. What you need next to do the large plug is a 17 millimeter hex. That's pretty huge. And then that's how you pull out the main uh, drain plug. It's just a two-part. It's really unique. It's a two-part plug you got that small t40 bolt and that does the fill of the fluid when it's warm obviously uh, the proper fill is at 50 degrees celsius on a level surface and you should use vita dice uh, software to get it all configured correctly i'll put the link of uh volvo sweden's excellent video down below if you really have your heart set on doing this it's not fun it's just a pain in the butt it takes some time. And so next what we're going to do here is take out the large plug. And we'll let that drain and then measure again. Mm. There we go with that. And this is where it's going to gush. Gush out. Hopefully. This only holds dying quartz. This pan. So I don't think it's going to be more than that. Should be okay. Smells uh, interesting. You guys have probably heard me talk about smells before. Uh, growing up, I don't know why, I just always had to smell everything for whatever reason. I have a sense of nose, that's for sure. It's very, very warm. Here's the 
thing I was telling you about the tube for the fill, which is really unique, I think. Pretty interesting. I don't know, I guess the Japanese came up with that. I don't know who came up with that, but it's really cool. And I'll have to measure this all out. And... All right, so after pulling the large drain plug, uh, it's almost, it looks just about three quarts. And there's the initial uh, one and a half quarts I gotten out, but I did add back. So we're gonna just ignore that. I shouldn't have probably done that, but that's okay. Uh, look how black that is. I mean, it is no tint of red at all. And there is in the jug after I emptied it. Absolutely disgusting. So we got three quarts, we're three quarts down. So I'll have to put back in and we'll keep uh, going until we make sure we have enough here to do a self flush. This is not any kind of power flush or anything. I'm not, you can do it through the oil cooler, uh, the hoses and run it that way and all that. But I don't, I never felt comfortable doing that, pulling the hoses. And I did it this way on the old Volvo and it worked out fine. But on that one, unfortunately, I think it was a, a little too late, essentially, because that car had 180,000 miles or so on when I originally did it. And I think it, I should have just probably left the old crappy fluid in. So that might have exasperated its issues that it had prior. So anyway, we'll go ahead here and add three quarts in here. It's the bird sing. Makes it nice not having to worry about a huge air box to remove though. I do like that. And this sounds pretty wicked with the uh, cone filter. And that is a dry one if anyone's wondering. It's not a doesn't take oil that filter. Uh, it's draining out underneath. That's not good. Oh shoot, I forgot about the little fill plug. Uh-oh. Well, some started coming out because dummy me forgot. This is not going by very well. Dummy me forgot to put the little fill level uh, plug back in to the 17 millimeter hex bowl. So I'll learn my lesson for the next time there. I gotta do the do this again a few more times. That's okay. Live and learn, right? And like he says on the video, you can overfill these, it's fine, because you gotta set the level at the end anyway. So I'll put that other, we'll put this other half quart in. That should make up for what I just freaking lost. I don't know what the dog's barking at. Run down, get the mail out, and we'll check on this in a little bit. All right, put the filter back on. Now we're gonna have to fire it up. We'll run it through each gear. Uh, normally you wanna do about 10 seconds for each gear. Let it run through its paces. And new exhaust sounds pretty wicked. So we're gonna run it through. I wanted to put gloves on. Let me grab my gloves. I'm gonna get this old poor car all dirty. All right, so I got some fresh gloves on. I, this light colored leather gets dirty so easily and I'm kind of anal about stuff. I really don't want to get this all hogged up. So you want to run through about 10 seconds. We'll turn, the, turn that off. Tell you what, it feels like it's shifting. Might be my imagination, but it sure feels like it's just this part feels easier to shift. So you just want to run through the gears there and then do one more drain. Oh, I didn't know this was still running. Okay, well, the camera, camera's been running apparently the whole time I was underneath. So we're gonna do fill, uh, fill number two with uh, three quarts. Once again, I got three quarts out. It was a hair a little, about 3.2, 3.3, but that was because, if you remember, I kind of screwed up and forgot to put the little drain 
the small little drain plug back in. That was my fault. It's definitely getting a little more red though each time I drain it. All right, that was the second, I guess, official draining. And because I initially, the first part there, let's see, it's pretty, pretty nasty, very black, still black. And then it gets a little, just a little, it was definitely more red. You can kind of see there as I slosh it around, it's more red. Definitely black, black, black. Now that was the first one I added that quart and a half. I'm, that was kind of a waste. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it's okay because it's still got to work its way out. So it was two official large dumps I did. And this, I'll probably be doing one more, so I'm not going to get too, you know, super technical on trying to get this all perfectly filled. But once you uh, get done, doing it the third time what you have to do is get the back end of the car up get it level as I have it on ramps and that's when you set get the car up to 50 degrees Celsius and then you set it that way the level all right so we'll go ahead here and run through the gears one more time I won't bore anyone with that we'll fill it up again or drain and then do the last fill I should say all right so ran through the gears again now we're gonna do the last the three drainings cool this off it's so nice not having to deal with that stupid box that's a pain to get out trust me I did it out a few times before all right so back underneath the drain it all right that was the last drain and it's definitely looks like wine now that looks a lot better it's more of a grapey reddish grape color opposed to what we had here in this original now that like i said doesn't really count towards it because i did put that quart and a half in by accident in the first start which was unnecessary but uh, it's essential each time it's been uh the first time was three quarts almost exactly the second was a little more than three quarts for whatever reason and then the last time was pretty much three quarts as well, which is easy. Uh, I did a Google conversion and that is what, three liters is what, 3.17, uh, yeah, quarts, I guess, is what that comes out to be, as I burp, excuse me. All right, we'll finish filling up the last fill here and that'll be it. And we'll get it leveled whenever I can here. All right, so I'm done there doing the last fill, which was three more quarts exactly, it seemed like. And I buttoned it all back up, put the under tray back on, which is, uh, I believe it's eight bolts that hold that on. You don't want to forget those. I was going to leave it off because I think I'm going to order two more cases of that Toyota fluid and do this flush one more time because it's still pretty blackish red. So I won't go into the... Uh, the exact level on it out just yet because like I said I'll put the link to Volvo Sweden's uh, video where he really goes into how you set it correctly I don't know how necessary that really is uh, I think when you take out a certain amount and put back a certain amount hopefully that's correct but doesn't mean it, it could have been wrong before someone else could have you know changed it before and didn't do it right I think this is the original fluid in this car honestly I have the Carfax on the full records and the passport where they, they book where they stamp all the service records and I didn't see anything about them doing any kind of fluid changes for the hall decks, the differential or the you know the transmission or anything like that. Now it did say they supposedly last this time last year they flushed the power steering fluid. I don't know, that looks pretty nasty in my opinion. I'm, I'd like to try to do that as well. Uh, with that oil dripping down i know that you know when you when you pull these plastic covers off you can see that the seals need replaced uh so i'll probably try to do the power steering pump maybe the same time but uh, i kind of that was part of the deal when i bought the car I, I complained about the oil dripping 
Well, it's not dripping, but you can see it's weeping out the back of the motor. But anyway, so that's the flush there. Uh, a soft flush, I should say, of basically nine quarts. And uh, I'll do a video on here how I put together the cone air fil filter system. Because for whatever reason, I've this is the only Yamaha V8 I ever found. I haven't found seen any with this air system on it. And it definitely gives a little more of a growl to it. Who knows if it gives any more horsepower. It feels a little faster on the highway and makes some sucking noises. And if you like that, that's pretty cool. So I'll probably go ahead here and make a video quick and show what part numbers and everything I use to throw us together. All right, so thanks for checking it out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And I will have plenty more of Volvo S80 V8 project videos on my channel which is also obviously mainly diecast related all right so until next time i'll see you guys later thanks for watching bye now